Russian President Vladimir Putin praised the joint GDP of BRICS countries at a plenary session of the bloc's business forum in Moscow Friday. Putin noted that the total GDP of the members of the BRICS Association is more than $60 trillion and that its total share in the world gross product confidently exceeds the corresponding indicators of the G7 group. The alliance, with a stated aim of counterbalancing the Western-led world order, initially included Brazil, Russia, India, China and South Africa, but started to rapidly expand this year. Iran, Egypt, Ethiopia, the United Arab Emirates and Saudi Arabia joined in January, Turkey, Azerbaijan and Malaysia formally applied, and a number of others expressed desire to join. According to the results of the current year, the average rate of economic growth in BRICS is projected at 4%. This is higher than the rates in the seven countries, there it is only 1.7%, and then the global rates, the global rates will be 3.2%, Putin said. The Russian leader also toured an exhibition of the Russian Direct Investment Fund dedicated to cooperation with the BRICS countries at the forum. In the next few days, Putin will be shaking hands with two dozen world leaders, including China's Xi Jinping, India's Narendra Modi, Turkey's Recep Tayyip Erdogan and Iran's Masoud Pazeshkian at the BRICS summit in Kazan. Officials in Moscow are already touting the gathering in Kazan as a massive success. Putin's foreign policy aide Yuri Ushakov said two weeks ago that 32 countries confirmed participation, and 24 of them will send heads of state. Putin will hold around 20 bilateral meetings in Kazan, Ushakov said, and the summit may turn into the largest foreign policy event ever held on Russian soil. Дамы и господа, дорогие друзья, искренне рад приветствовать всех. Совокупный ВВП объединения составляет более 60 триллионов долларов, а общая доля в мировом валовом продукте уверенно превышает соответствующий показатель так называемой группы семи и продолжает расти. Состав участников весьма солидный. В последние десятилетия свыше 40% прироста глобального ВВП всей мировой экономической динамики приходилось именно на государство БРИКС. По итогам текущего года средние темпы экономического роста в БРИКС прогнозируются на уровне 4%. Это выше как темпов в странах семерки, там всего 1,7% и общемировых. Общие мировые темпы будут 3,2%. Ну, прогноз. Владимир Путин, fellow BRICS leaders, distinguished guests, make outlook for South Africa. Growth forecasts for the next two years. Platform for such cooperation. It makes it possible for us. We strongly encourage investors from BRICS countries to seize the opportunity. Что вот эта модель соинвестиций, она резко позволит нарастить именно акционерное финансирование про активности искусственного интеллекта, то мы видим, что именно фокусируясь на различные вертикальные... Вот эту долю рынка на мировом рынке для людей с инвалидностью занимает. Мы исходим еще из... Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky said Thursday that support from his embattled nation's Western allies is key to his victory plan to end the country's devastating war with Russia as he laid out details of the plan to European Union leaders. The EU is a key supporter of Ukraine, a candidate member of the 27-nation bloc, as it fights Russia's invasion that began more than two and a half years ago. Major points of the plan include an invitation for Ukraine to join NATO and permission to use Western-supplied longer-range missiles to strike military targets deep inside Russia, steps that have been met with reluctance by Kiev's allies so far. Immediate invitation to Ukraine to join NATO would be decisive. Of course, membership would follow later, said Zelensky stressing that Russian President Vladimir Putin must see that his geopolitical calculations are worthless. 
Zelensky added that it is vital to apply pressure on Putin by bringing the war back into Russia so that Russians can feel what war is like. Thursday's talks in Brussels come as Ukrainian troops are struggling to hold off better equipped Russian forces, especially in the eastern Donetsk region where they are gradually being pushed back. Kiev is surviving with Western help, but Ukraine says it is coming too slowly. Putin is preparing his own reinforcements to continue the war, not end it. Of course, Putin wants to match your country's ammunition production by next year. And he's getting help from North Korea with shells, equipment, now even people. And plus Iran. Unfortunately, we are receiving signal that China is still actively helping Russia drag out this war. And we have clear intelligence data. We need to strengthen now. The victory plan is designed for this moment, and I urge all of you to help make it happen. If we start now and follow the victory plan, we can end this war no later than next year. We start our meeting. Like Immediate invitation to Ukraine to join NATO would be decisive. Of course, membership would follow later. Putin just must see that his geopolitical calculations are worthless. And an invitation now with membership later will have no political cost. It's a strong decision that requires nothing but determination. Welcome, please. Uh, you have the floor. We must continue to apply pressure on Russia on the battlefield. And it's realistic to maintain positions on the front within Ukrainian territory while also bringing the war back into Russia so that Russians can feel what war is like and begin to hate Putin for it. Of presidentship and uh, thanks for all the decisions. Your political decision on 35 billion euros for Ukraine as part of the G7's resolution on $50 billion from Russia assets is extremely important and is needed as soon as soon as possible.